at T-minus three hours and holding with about an hour and 51 minutes remaining in our scheduled built-in hold. We are currently standing by to receive uh, live TV of the astronauts in the operations and checkout building at Kennedy Space Center as they're uh, seated together for a uh, last uh, meal before they head over to the suiting room. That should be coming up in the next few minutes. Weather forecasters are continuing to indicate that there are some concerns for uh, isolated showers uh, and uh, primarily for some crosswinds at the shuttle landing facility. Uh, forecasters uh, earlier today were indicating still a 70% chance of weather uh, violating our launch constraints. We will continue to monitor that in real time as we proceed through the afternoon and early evening. astronauts as they are seated for their uh, what we traditionally call a breakfast however it is uh, more of a lunch for them since they've been awake since about uh, 1045 today this is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours in holding with about an hour and 33 minutes remaining in our scheduled built-in hold We just received word that the liquid hydrogen loading has uh, transitioned into topping activities, so that's a good sign. We're still about, uh, this topping activity still takes about uh, 30 minutes or so to complete. And we're also in the process continuing to finish up with the loading of the liquid oxygen into the, liquid oxygen into the external tank. So again, activities are uh, going uh, well. We expect to have uh, both of those activities complete in the next 30 minutes or so. We will begin the process now of uh, starting to send the final inspection team out to the launch pad and the closeout crew out to the white room as well. These activities should commence in the next few minutes. With about one hour, 11 minutes remaining in our scheduled built-in hold, we are at T-minus three hours and holding. team normally spends about two, hour, two hours at the pad going to most levels to check on temperatures and any signs of potential debris concerns. Earlier today the three hour long tanking operation commenced to load the 500,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellants into the large external tank. The uh, current winds are showing peaks of about 12 to 18 knots, and that is getting pretty close to being favorable. We do have live pictures of our astronauts as they are in the suit-up room. Mark Polanski, of course, uh, this is his second space shuttle flight. He was first pilot on mission STS-98 back in 2001. Nicholas Patrick, yes, as he is uh, standing up and making final uh, checks, of course talking with Joni Higginbotham who is, um, uh, both of these folks are on their first shuttle flight today. We 
we're getting ready to come out of this built-in hold. Coming out of the hold in five seconds. And we're at T minus three hours and counting. We're at T minus three hours and counting. We're observed green across the board at this time. However, we'll continue to monitor the crosswind component. And Kathy gave Mike Leinbach a uh, updated uh, no-go status of about 60% chance of violating our launch constraints today. This is shuttle launch control, and of course, uh, these are the astronauts as they're walking down the hallway from their crew quarters. Uh, this is uh, the second opportunity to launch these folks into orbit. The first opportunity, of course, uh, we had to scrub on uh, Thursday night due to low clouds, but uh, here we go again. They're climbing into the elevator and looking for a, a good launch opportunity tonight. And here they come, our astronauts, led by Commander Mark Polanski, Pilot William Ophelein, Nicholas Patrick, Robert Kerbeam, Krista Fugelsang, Joan Higginbotham, and Sonny Williams. And this is a good view of the astronaut van as they are uh, traveling east, or excuse me, west on the NASA causeway. They'll be turning north momentarily on the Kennedy Parkway. As the astronauts are being driven out to the launch pad, we've got a good view of our final inspection team at, at the launch pad. They're on the mobile launcher platform. We and the astronaut van is climbing up the uh, ramp. This is a 5% grade. Going up the ramp with the Space Shuttle Discovery ready and waiting. And they're coming off the vehicle and as is the custom they like to go back, some of them anyway, to uh, go back and take a, uh, a look at the Space Shuttle Discovery from the pad surface. Of course And a good view from inside Space Shuttle Discovery as Sunny Williams uh, makes her way to her seat on the mid deck. Uh, she'll be joined. Houston, CDR, com check. CDR, Houston, we have you loud and clear. Good evening, Roman. Good evening, Hawk. With everything going well, no technical issues being discussed by the launch team at this time. We're at T-minus one hour, 15 minutes, and counting. This is shuttle launch control. Copy, 
This is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus 41 minutes and counting. And the closeout crew has just departed the uh, the launch pad. They're uh, actually making preparations to uh, get into the vehicle to actually depart the launch pad, but they have departed the white room at this time, so they have uh, wrapped up their operations there. Okay, Discovery, your max rate in first stage, roll two degrees per second at five zero fifty seconds. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus twenty minutes, fifteen seconds and counting. Uh, we're coming up on our first of two remaining built in holds. This first hold occurs at T minus 20 minutes. Three, two, one, and we are at T minus 20 minutes and holding. This hold will last for 10 minutes. Our launch window times. Based on our on our window open, our zero one four two five three, five. four three two one, and we are t minus twenty minutes and counting. From this point until the t minus thirty one second mark, any of the stored any of the scores of console operators in the firing room can ask that the count be held if a problem is detected on the system they are monitoring. are being checked and verified for the mission and the gaseous helium system of the main propulsion system is now being configured for launch. We're at T-minus nine minutes and holding. This is a scheduled hold that will last for about 45 minutes. Off with the NTD conducting the launch status check. Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC? OTC is go. TBC? TBC is go. PTC? PTC is go. LPS? LPS go. Houston flight? Houston flight is go. Mila? Mila go. STM? STM is go. Safety console? Safety console is go. SPE? SP is go. LRD? LRD is go. SRO? SRO is go. You have range for the launch. And CDR? CDR is go. Launch director NTD, the launch team is ready to proceed. I copy that. I'll do my poll at this time. Chief Engineer, Launch Director, verify no constraints to launch. DVD team is go. Thank you, Charlie. KC Safety Mission Assurance. Safety Mission Assurance is go. Thank you, Lana. Payload Launch Manager. Expectation team is go, Mike. Thank you, Norm. Range weather. Weather has no constraints to launch. Picking up the count in 10 seconds. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we are at T minus 9 minutes and counting. The ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA Test Director Jeff Spaulding is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre launch commands as Discovery is prepared for launch on shuttle mission STS 116, less than nine minutes away on a 12 day mission to the International Space Station. T-minus eight minutes and counting. OTC, PLT, essential bus is connected to fuel cell. So. 
coming up on the time to retract the orbiter access arm away from the vehicle. CLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Discovery OTC. The destiny of space beckons you to pave the way for space exploration. Luck tonight. Thanks, OTC. We'll see you in a few. T minus seven minutes and counting. The orbiter test conductor has given pilot Bill Ophelein to go ahead to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedures. T-minus six minutes and counting. Standing by in 20 seconds for the pre-start of the auxiliary power units. That is now complete. APU activation will become in just about 15 seconds. And we have a go for APU start. The launch team has terminated liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank and the team is now initiating LOX train back. T-minus four minutes and counting. CLS go for purge sequence four. A final test of the flight control services is now being conducted. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and the other flight control surfaces. Final aero surface checks of the orbiter's wing elevons and rudder are being completed. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. We're looking at the main engines being gimbaled for a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. Everything is looking good for launch tonight. This is the first nighttime shuttle launch in over four years. All systems on board Discovery are operating with no problems reported. Tonight's launch is expected to be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions of the U.S.
DLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. And we are completing the purge of the shuttle's main engines. Everything continues to look good with Discovery. Discovery OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate OT close. Discovery copies, close and visors in O2. T minus two minutes and counting. No unexpected error. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T minus one minute and counting. T minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells, coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. Yeah. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the night in the sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Engine startling back to two thirds of the latest thrust. Passing air at maximum dynamic pressure, out to go supersonic. There's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for discovery. Altitude eight miles. 1700 miles an hour, downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. A minute and a half since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds for propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles, speed 3,000 miles an hour, already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Pen. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boostoffs are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage.
Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Speed almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles, downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, negative return. Negative return. That call means Discovery has gained too much speed and altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center for a landing if a problem arises. Just under four minutes until main engine cutoff. During that time, Discovery is going to triple its speed to reach the 17,400 miles an hour needed to reach Earth orbit. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, Three good fuel cells. Altitude 6,300 miles. 63 miles. Speed 6,500 miles an hour. Downrange 207 miles from Kennedy Space Center along the eastern seaboard of the United States. Discovery Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Press to ATO, select Istris. Discovery now could reach an orbit lower than planned, but still safe on two engines. Speed 7,700 miles an hour. Altitude 67 miles. 290 miles off the eastern coast of the United States away from Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Discovery Houston, single engine Ops 3. Single engine Ops 3. That call means that Discovery could perform a transoceanic abort landing on only one engine if required. So far all going well. Discovery should be Rolling to a heads-up position now to help uh, assist its performance as it climbs into orbit and provide better communication through the tracking data relay satellite system. Discover Houston, press to Miko and single engine Istris 104. Press to Miko, single engine Istris 104. Discovery could reach its planned orbit on only two engines if required, and it could reach Istris France on just one engine. Just under two minutes to main engine cutoff. Altitude 66 miles. Speed 11,000 miles an hour. Already 500 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, single engine press 104. And Discovery Houston, Billy, we see a nominal shutdown plan. Copy, nominal shutdown plan, thanks. About a minute to main engine cutoff. 
Normal shutdown planned. Speed 14,000 miles an hour. Altitude 64 miles. Downrange 643 miles. Continue to watch live downlink television pictures from an external tank camera. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Officer confirms main engine cutoff. External tank separation confirmed. Special discovery now on orbit on its own. Discovery Houston, we saw a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required, and we just watched some great video you get off the tank. Copy, nominal Miko, Ohms 1 not required, and you got a lot of smiling faces up here.